Hi, my name is Colin Cummings. Today I'm going to talk to you about the diamond drift, what it is, why we do it, and how we do it. So first we're going to start with what it is. The diamond drift is a lot like juggling a soccer ball or dribbling a basketball. It's where a player can take it on their side of the table and move it around to be creative and mix up the kind of shots they shoot. It's really important for younger players to start at this fast level so that they can take it and make their own with it. So a lot of people mix up the name of the diamond drift with the circle drift. The circle drift is a little bit like this. So there are really two ways to do a diamond drift. The normal way and the reverse diamond drift. The normal diamond drift looks like this. The reverse diamond drift looks like this. So to perform the diamond drift, you want to start with the puck in the center of the table. You want to move the puck straight up and take it back. And move it up and take it back. And slowly build up from there. To perform the reverse diamond drift, you want to take the puck and start higher up on the table. You want to take the puck back and then move it up in a counterclockwise direction. And slowly build up from there. In this next part, I'll show you how to shoot some shots using both diamond drifts. Thank you for watching my demonstration of how to perform the diamond drift. Please subscribe and like below.